Are you serious? Are you serious? Persia has arrived. Persia has arrived, and so has Turkey. Ezekiel chapter 38. The Fab Five that will fight in the great battle of Gog and Magog seem to now be all on the same team as Turkey, President, their Prime Minister, Turkey's Prime Minister, Erdogan, went to Iran yesterday, sat down with the Ayatollah Ali Khomeini, the supreme leader of Iran, and with the new president, Hassan Rouhani. While sitting there and meeting with them on how to help them because the sanctions have been lifted by the six world power uh, agreement with Iran, Turkey went there to help them uh, facilitate the, their new trade uh, opportunities with the world they haven't been able to work with, Turkey's Prime Minister ordered his Air Force with F-16 fighter jets to fly into Syria and to bomb the very rebels that he had been supporting along with President Obama and NATO. Turkey jumped ship yesterday. Turkey joined the Fab Five. Now, today we have understanding that Iran has the nuke. According to Mike Dell and Reverend Gary, who both sent this to me, according to the Times of Israel, Iran can now deliver nukes. And guess who says they can? James Clapper, the United States Director of National Intelligence. Yes, Iran now has all the technical infrastructure to produce a nuclear weapons, should it make a political decision to do so. According to Director of National Intelligence, James Clapper, he wrote in a report to the Senate Intelligence Committee published yesterday, uh, January 29, 2014. However, he added, it could not break out to make a bomb without being detected. So in the U.S. Intelligence Worldwide Threat Assessment, uh, delivered to the Senate Select Committee on Intelligence, Clapper reported that Iran has made significant advances recently in its nuclear program to point where it could produce and deliver a nuclear bomb should it so incline. Tehran has made technical progress in a number of areas, including uranium enrichment, nuclear reactors, and ballistic missiles, from which it could draw, if it decided to, and build a missile-deliverable nuclear weapon, according to James Clapper. These technical advancements strengthen our assessment that Iran has the scientific, technical, and industrial capacity to eventually produce nuclear weapons. This makes the central issue its political will do so. If it wants to, it can. So all of this smoke and mirrors and all of this, we'll never let Iran have a bomb. We'll never let them get to the point where they can make it. Forget about it. Forget about it. They can. And we've already signed a six superpower deal. The United States, Russia, China, the, the United Kingdom, France, and Germany signed a deal lifting the sanctions, freeing up $9 billion to Iran. And Turkey's over there right now helping move, giving them all the connections and how they can sell their stuff so they can boister their economy. And, and the very next day they announce they can make a bomb now. They, our intelligence director says they can do it. And oh, by the way, while Turkey was there, they sided with Iran, not only to help them with their uh, trade in the world, to get back on the world stage economically, but while they were there, they jumped ship. They changed sides and attacked the rebels who were attacking Assad. What? That, fine, I've been reading Ezekiel 38. I've been asking the question for 30 years. How's Turkey going to get over on the other side? I know the other four are already there. Russia, uh, Libya, and Ethiopia, and, uh, and Iran. I knew those four were together. But how does Turkey get there? How does Turkey get there? Turkey's there! Well, 
Folks, if you read Ezekiel 38, it tells you that those five nations, now it mentions Persia, that's Iran, Ethiopia, and Libya. Then it mentions Gomer. Gomer is a, uh, a, a tribal band of warriors from Russia, and Tagarma is another tribal band of fighting soldiers out of Turkey. Those five would come together for the great battle of Gog and Magog in the end times. Now Turkey, the Fab Five is there. Turkey is on their side now. Oh, they'll deny it. They're there, and Iran's got the bomb, and Israel is sitting by themselves wondering who is on their side. Is the whole world turning against Israel? 